Uh, I just arrived in country. Can I take test now? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I just arrived in country. Can I take tests now? I'm sorry, sir. You have an appointment. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Mike Tyson used to say everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. And that happens in politics all the time, metaphorically and physically these days. Eric Adams is the mayor of New York City. Eric Adams and the interns who tweet for him love to send out pithy virtue signaling tweets like this. A reminder to the tired, poor, and huddled masses yearning to breathe free. You're still welcome here, NYC. Also, we should protect our immigrants, period. Along with New York City has and always will be a city of immigrants. Under my administration, the government will reflect that. Except for uh, Eric Adams is now saying that illegal immigration is destroying New York. <laughs> Eric Adams is doing his greatest Trump impression, saying that 10,000 illegal asylum seekers arriving every month will flood all of the five boroughs, the city we know we are about to lose. Ooh, baby. What a clip. This, is the, this clip is enraging libs across the country. And we're going to bring you some of those juicy, salty reactions here in just a second. But first, watch. Support. And let me tell you something, New Yorkers. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. We're getting 10 thousand migrants a month. One time we were just getting Venezuela. Now we're getting Ecuador. Now we're getting Russian speaking coming through Mexico. Now we're getting uh, Western Africa. Now we're getting people from all over the globe have made their minds up that they're going to come through the southern part of the border and come into New York City. And everyone is saying it's New York City's problem. Every community in this city is going to be impacted. We got a $12 billion deficit that we're going to have to cut. Every service in this city is going to be impacted. All of us. And so I say to you, as I turn it over to you, this is some, some of the most educated, some of the most knowledgeable, probably more of my commissioners and deputy commissioners and chiefs live in this community. So as you asked me a question about migrants, tell me what role you played. How many of you organized to stop what they're doing to us? How many of you were part of the movement to say, we're seeing what this mayor is trying to do and they're destroying New York City? It's gonna to come to your neighborhoods. All of us are gonna be impacted by this. I said it last year when we had 15,000, I'm telling you now, with 110,000, the city we knew, we're about to lose. And we're all in this together, all of us. Staten Island is saying, send them out to Manhattan. Manhattan is saying, send them out to Queens. Queens is saying, send them out to Brooklyn. No, it's not the game we can play. Open the floor up. So, yeah, I'm sure you can see why Libs are a little upset over the fact that Adams is straight up calling out the fact that you are going to change New York forever. You are going to cripple New York's services. And you are, of course, seeing that influx of migrants at New York City High School overflows classes, forces students into other building. So now kids that were actually born Americans in this country that are here legally, well, they are now being pushed out. By the migrant communities. Oh, yeah, baby. Careful what you wish for, because you just might get it, my grandmother used to say. And New York is now getting exactly what they have asked for. And New York has supported Democrats and Democrat policies, suicidal Democrat policies, year after year after year. Last time New York voted for a Republican was 1998, 1997. Rudy Giuliani, I think, became mayor of New York around then. And now America should accept immigrants. Let's establish sanctuary cities. <gasps> Why would Republicans send illegal immigrants to us? <laughs> These are your policies, Jack. 
Elon Musk, of course, understands this. Executive producer ALX with a banger this morning. Donald Trump looks really different here. Elon Musk saying the public doesn't understand the magnitude of the problem. The mayor correctly points out that the people from the entire world are using the southern border to enter illegally. Mayor Adams, of course, saying Russians, Chinese people, people from the Middle East. It's not just it's not just your Mexican mango cart salesman that's rolling across the border. It's literally the entire world, including ISIS members. Isn't that great? The number entering the year is about two million and rising. If he thinks the problem is bad now, fast forward five years. When those people have children, when you have a birthright, American birthright policy, where if your children are born here, they're American citizens. Whew, man. What's interesting about this, though, is still the cognitive dissidents of libs. When you have this Democrat mayor who by, is by every measure a big time lefty. So I had a lot of hope for Eric Adams. I don't have any hope for him now. Eric Adams, uh, a big time lefty is like getting destroyed by the left. Elon Musk says, yikes. Didn't he advocate for these policies? <laughs> when the bill comes due for your virtue signaling. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he should tell them to vote Republicans. Building a wall seems fairly logical. This is the because it is my because it's my ex account. You're going to see sort of the, the like more of the right of center uh, responses here. Here is some of the left of center. The mayor seems like he's taking a page of the Trump playbook here. The truth is, immigrants have made New York's drug of the centuries. Yes, we will need a federal and state support to meet the moment, but we must reject the dangers of the Says lady, whatever. Who's a New York City Council member? Oh, good. Okay, great. She's also an organizer and a feminist. Oh, boy. Uh, Mandy Hassan, who has a MSNBC show that nobody watches, says, I have seen the Eric Adams clip claiming that migrants will destroy New York City. It's awful. There's a reason why Republicans and far-right folks are gleefully sharing it. Ooh. We chose a Trump knockoff. Yeah, now they're all calling the mayor of New York and Donald Trump. <laughs> Have y'all ever, like, even listened to the native communities of these neighborhoods? Uh, predominantly, many of them are of minority status, right? If you even want to, like, classify people like that. Uh, traveling over to America's second or third largest city, Chicago. I think it goes, New. I think it goes, like, New York. I think it goes, like, New York, L.A., Chicago. It's one of those three. Y the residents are fuming in Chicago's historically black neighborhoods about the criminal migrants flooding into their streets. Politically, having over 500 people in our community would completely wipe out any interest we have. Are you aware that there are immigrant advocates at state houses all over this country who are, who are advocating for non-citizen voting in local elections? What if that happened here? That would change the mindset of what we as a black community need to thrive oh, here my. in Chicago. Wait a That's second. That's a concern of ours. Hold on. Wait this just a This is much bigger tick. than the mayor of Chicago or Chicago Police Department. This is an effort to destroy our neighborhoods and silence our voices even further. Oh. oh, my God. This man is straight up saying it. Oh, but he's not white, so he's allowed to say it. They're sending in people who are not from here in order to get compliant votes, in order to change the demographic, in order to get prescription policy prescriptions that they want. That's what this man is saying. They are replacing the native born population here. That's what this man is saying. His word, not mine. Uh oh. Oh, is he allowed to say it because he's actually from these neighborhoods? Is he allowed to say it? Remember how this was a dangerous conspiracy theory? Worth the meeting, a small protest of South Shore neighbors demanding the energy put into the migrant issue be put into their neighborhoods. It is a slap in the face that we as citizens of the United States of America do not have the resources and support, but you're going to bring people who are not citizens here in our community, in our buildings that we pay taxes for, that you took away from us. Yes. 
That is completely unacceptable. We are in a humanitarian crisis right now. The black people in Chicago are bleeding on the streets. Yeah. Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson had this to say about uh -oh. the migrant crisis. We have a responsibility to make sure that families who are seeking love and support here in the city. <laughs> yeah, what about the people who were born there? They don't like you. They don't like you. You don't work hard enough or you don't. I don't know, vote as a block or whatever, right? There's a reason for all of this, and the reason is quite plain. They do not wish to continue America down the path that we were going in like the 80s, 90s. They do not wish to have the sort of like slow social change that is created over long periods of time. They wish for quick, direct drastic change immediately to the system and a breaking of that system so that you can create an emergency in the conditions for total control. That's what they're looking for. And it's nice to see people waking up. That's what we do here. Wake up with your boy Benny and end communism. See ya.